They swing wide off to driver's right, then back to driver's left to set up for turn number seven. A couple of great paces, uh, places to make a pass for the lead. We have seen it in years past here at Watkins Glen. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it over the course of the next couple of laps when we race to the checkered flag here in just a few minutes from now. All right, Kyle, appreciate it. Final turn, turn seven, could be a place where a pass for the win could possibly take place. All right, we've uh, just been told a couple of things. One, we're going to go back under the green flag in another lap. The field right now is up. In turn number six, we'll make one more trip around the racetrack. We'll be coming to the green flag at that point. And when we do, Joe, <laughs> A.J. Allmendinger will be the race leader with Marcus Ambrose second. You heard uh, Drew Blickenstorfer talk about the, uh, the, uh, the way they score at the line with the scoring system that is used, and plus the cameras and the loops that are used. They're placed at various portions around the racetrack. When the caution flag flies, the loop tells you who was leading at that point. They set the field based on that. And so when the caution flew, NASCAR determined that A.J. was the race leader. As you remember, he had started the move by Marcus Ambrose just as they got here to the front straightaway. And so he will line up as the race leader, no doubt taking the inside line for the restart. Marcus, again, has to work from the outside lane. Carl Edwards lines up third. Kurt Busch will be fourth on the restart. Fifth is Kevin Harvick, then Kyle Larson in sixth. Joey Logano will restart from 7th, Greg Biffle 8th, Dale Earnhardt Jr. ninth, and Matt Kenseth 10th. Restarting 11th will be Austin Dillon, Brian Vickers will be from 12th, Casey Mears 13th, 14th on the restart, Casey Kane, Jamie McMurray 15th, 16th on the restart, Martin Truex Jr., Clint Boyer 17th, David Reagan, 18th, 19th, Eric Elmarola, 20th on the restart, Ricky Stenhouse, Jr. 21st will be Justin Allgaier, David Gilliland will restart from the 22nd position with Reed Sorensen, 23rd, Nelson P.K. Jr., 24th, Danica Patrick restarts in 25th, Jimmy Johnson back in 26th, Forrest Sand is 27th, Alex Kennedy, 28th, that was uh, scored before we had the caution which he was involved in, at least part of it, and Denny Hamlin the same. And he was scored in 29th. Then comes Landon Castle. Joe Nemechek, 31st at the moment. Mike Lynette, 32nd. Paul Menard, 33rd. Jeff Gordon, 34th. Brad Kozlowski, 35th. Alex Bowman, 36th. Regan Smith, 37th. Josh Wise, 38th. Ryan Truex, 39th. Kyle Busch, 40th. Then comes Ryan Newman, 41st. 42nd to Michael McDowell, 43rd to Cole Witt. And that's a, another look at the AutoZone leaderboard, reminding you to get proven tough Duralast brakes, the official brakes of NASCAR. They're sold only at AutoZone, so get in the zone with AutoZone. We've been focusing so much on A.J. and Marcus Ambrose on the front row, and the, indeed, that is the battle we're looking at. Everybody is waiting to see how that's going to work out, but there's going to be a lot of guys trying to grab all they can further back. Carl Edwards lined up third. We talked to him a few moments ago. Kurt Busch is going to try all he can to squeeze up in there. If the opportunity is presented, to where he'll have a shot at it. Same for Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson. I'd say anybody in the top ten is going to try to find some way to make a dramatic move in case there is an incident up front that they can capitalize on. Well, the last thing that A.J. Allmendinger wants is for the driver lining up right behind him to use A.J. as their brakes and shove A.J out of the way. Of course, AJ, think about all the things that are going to transpire right now. AJ's got to hit the marks, come up through the gearbox without spinning the tires to try to get away from Marcus Ambrose, then downshifting at the right time, making sure that he doesn't wheel hop, going into turn number one, and that he gives Marcus enough room and nobody gets in behind him. All sounds so easy. We're about to find out, Joe. AJ Allmendinger, Marcus Ambrose up front for the restart. Carl Edwards, Kurt Busch, row number two, looking for the American ethanol green flag. Once again, everybody at Watkins Glen on their feet as the pace car hits pit road, and here we go to see if we can settle it here this afternoon. On the start, A.J. again with a good jump, pulls out by a car length in front of Marcus Ambrose. He's still in the outside lane and will struggle to try to stay up alongside A.J. as they race into turn one. No room this time for the crossover move for Marcus Ambrose. It'll be Allmendinger leading them toward turn two. But all, uh, Ambrose hangs there on the outside. Now he'll drop back, single file. It's Allmendinger away with the lead. Ambrose is second. Third to turn four. Fourth is Carl Edwards. Then Kyle Larson as they hit the backstretch.
A.J. Omendinger brings the field to the back straightaway. Single file formation. Ambrose drops out of line, not close enough to make the move. Carl Edwards took a look on Kurt Busch for third. No dice there as well. Omendinger slinging that car. Ambrose to the inside. They make contact. Omendinger slides wide. Here comes Ambrose to the bottom of the racetrack. Side by side for the lead off five. Still nose to nose to the short shoot. Marcus Ambrose to the outside. A.J. Omendinger to the bottom as they approach the left-hander of turn number six. Nobody's going to give. There's contact between the race leaders. Omendinger slides up. Maintains the race lead. Ambrose has to fall back to the line. One car length back in the second spot. They are leaning on each other up front as the white flag flies at the Glen. Marcus Ambrose, he's now going to have to battle with Kurt Busch for second as A.J. Allmendinger leads him for the final time back into turn number one. The gap is three car lengths and the battle is for second. Crowd through the S's standing and roaring for A.J. Allmendinger. JTG Doherty Racing trying to be the little team that could. Allmendinger is pulling away his lead now and Carlin in turn number four. Battle for the lead, there is none. It's all A.J. Allmendinger. Marcus Ambrose in second, trying to fend off the advances of Kurt Busch. Bush looks to the inside. He's not close enough to make the move as Allmendinger now will lead the field for the final time out of the inner loop. The gap between the top two, Put it at four car lengths. A.J. Obendinger for the final time out of the carousel. Here they come off of turn number five and onto the short shoot. It is all A.J. Allmendinger at the front of the field. Five car lengths back to Marcus Ambrose. Kurt Busch, Kyle Larson is up to fourth, but through turn six and seven for the final time. A.J. Allmendinger leads here at Watkins Glen. A.J. in command by six car lengths over Marcus Ambrose. He comes underneath the bridge off turn number seven to the line. He'll score his first career win in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. And A.J. Allmendinger is in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. Marcus Ambrose finishes wow. second. Third is Kurt Busch. Kyle Larson comes up to fourth. And Carl Edwards finishes in fifth. We go to Winston Kelly. Brian Burns, you took him to victory lane. What does it feel like you qualified for the chase? Man, it's big. It's like a David Goliath story for a team like this. We've known he could do this stuff all year long. It's just getting him in the right spot, not making any mistakes, and letting him show off his talent like he has today. And he definitely showed it off, and we're going to victory lane with Tad and Jody Jashetter and A.J. Allmendinger for the first time, and they have qualified for the chase for the Sprint Cup. Absolutely, Winston Kelly. Make it official. A.J. Allmendinger is now a winner in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Coca-Cola Racing Family Road Trip. NASCAR Confessionals. Driver's log, Brian Newman here. It's 127, and we've run out of Coca-Cola. I'm really thrilled.